Troy that Bridges joins us, uh, bringing us some good weather news. Yeah. Uh, you know, your graphic with that uh -huh. golf club. I know you put yeah, that in there for me. I did that. That's Ooh. how I wish people would see my drive, like with graphics over uh -huh. it so they can't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's spectacular. You know, today's going to be great weather to get out and do pretty much anything you want outside. It's a little cool to start, but we do warm nicely today. We're going to be close to our average. The average high is 80. We're getting into the upper 70s, but many areas across the region chilly this morning. Look at Nashville. 36 is the temperature right now. It's 45 in Atlanta, Charlotte at 37, Jacksonville at 47, Orlando at 59. Of course, Miami mild starting off at 62 degrees. It's all as high pressure continues to dominate. And around that area of high pressure, we have a clockwise wind flow, and that's sending in a north wind off the drier land rather than the ocean water. So when you have wind off the ocean, you have a little bit more humidity rolling in. Of course, when you have wind coming in off land and continue to go over, dry air that leads to a drier start and a cooler start. And that's why temperature is a little chilly this morning in spots. But there's Brevard County, Port Canaveral, a gorgeous view of Harmony of the Seas. We love seeing that a little breeze on the palm fronds in the foreground there with the palm tree. That west northwest wind bringing in dry stable air, but it is a bit breezy along the coast at 13 miles per hour. We'll see some winds close to 15 to 20 miles per hour through the day. It's 60 degrees from that view with tons of sunshine in Brevard County. Now, orange Orange County, downtown Orlando looking good with sunny skies, a few high thin clouds out there through the day, but the sun will filter right through. We're at 59 from that view with a west wind at five miles per hour. What about other coastal zones farther to the north? A gorgeous sunrise view in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Right now it's 53, cool enough for a light jacket if you're going to walk along the beach. Of course, warming nicely into the afternoon today in the mid and upper 70s. We're at 48 now in Ocala, much like this time yesterday, chilly and enough or maybe a medium weight jacket in Marion County. It's 52 in the villages, 57 in Leesburg, 54 is the temperature in Sanford. It's 53 in Palm Coast and 54 in Melbourne. But here's a look at the pinpoint accurate forecast into the next 12 hours. And notice we do warm nicely today to 76 by 2. Then by 4 p.m. we're up to 78 almost 80. Again, the average high for this time of year is 80 degrees. So just a couple of degrees below the average today. And then we go well above the average next week, getting close to 90. In fact, into the 90s next week. We'll talk about that. Here's the clouds and rain forecast. Watch the clock at the top of the screen. We always count you down through the day. We stop the clock at 2 p.m. and no changes. As high pressure continues to bring in that dry air from the north, we won't see much in the way of clouds at all. A few clouds through 8 o'clock tonight, but mainly those high thin clouds that the the, uh, cooler air will allow to come through. There are the temperatures for today by 3 p.m. getting into the mid 70s along the coast. Daytona Beach 75, upper 70s inland, getting up to 78 in Leesburg, 77 in Sanford. Here's your seven day forecast as we get results and we take you into next week and again the 80s return tomorrow. So if you like that slight cool down, you'll enjoy today with dry air still in place. More humidity rolling in tomorrow, a high of 84 up to 90 by Thursday with rain chances at 40 percent, rain chances 70 percent by Friday and again near 90. So the heat returns and so do those rain chances, but not for the next couple of days. Yeah, we start off the week looking good.